हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोर्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू टेक्स्ट लिंक्स इन एच वी कम अक्रॉस टेक्स्ट लिंक्स इन आर डेली लाइफ वेन एवर वी गो थ्रू अ वेबसाइट एंड क्लिक ऑन सम स्पेसिफिक टेक्स्ट प्रेजेंट ओवर दे इट वी डायरेक्ट अस टू अव पेज राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस हाउ दीज लिंक्स आर एडेड टू अ वेब पेज यूजिंग एच बट बिफोर वी बिगिन If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before discussing text links in HTML, let's understand what a link is. Any website we go through in today's world must contain a link. A link in HTML is an object that allows us to a new location when we click on it. it provides a simple way of navigation between different pages present on the web these links in html are known as hyperlinks and hyperlinks allows us to navigate between websites by clicking on words emails and images thus we can create hyperlinks using text or images available on a web page so let's go through an example of what links are and how they make it easier for the user to navigate within web pages Here we have a sample web page. We created it when we went through jQuery. On this website, you can see we have words present over here like home, about, categories, top rated, and contact. Fine. If we click on any of these words, it takes us to that particular section of the web page. What actually happens is when we mention these words on the HTML file, we provided them with specific links so that it will be easier for the viewer to get to any particular part of the website without much hassle i hope you guys now have got an idea of what links are let's see how these links are added to a web page now in this particular video we'll go through text links in html we'll cover image links and email links in the upcoming videos so don't worry about them now in html the anchor tag is used to specify a link anything present between the opening and closing anchor tag becomes the part of a link and we can click that part to reach to the linked web page or document so the syntax for the anchor tag goes like this inside the body tag we have to write here e so this is a anchor tag and anything goes in between there will be considered as a part of the link fine now the next thing we'll do is we'll add the link to a website here to specify a link in html the href attribute is used this attribute specifies the url of the web page or website or document the link goes to so href is basically a attribute fine so what we have to do is we have to write here inside the anchor tag we have to mention the href attribute and now we have to write the url of website over here fine so let's say the url of a website is www.google.com fine and the text will be let's say google fine now save the program and you can see here we have google written over here on the web page in blue color it is purple for now you will get to know about it later on in this video only so the url we mentioned over here inside the anchor tag will take us to the home page of google search engine click on it and you can see here we are on google's home page right so moving ahead let's discuss the two different types of urls we have in html the two types of urls are absolute url and relative url the url we used here in this example which navigates the user to google's home page is an example of an absolute url basically when a full web address is mentioned in the href attribute it refers to an absolute url on the other hand the relative url refers to a local link a link to a page within the same website or without the https and www part fine the syntax for this is also a bit different so let's go through it. what we'll do is we'll first create another web page for this so let's create one here we have to name it so let's say we are writing over here about dot html so oh, let's write some code over here let's say we are writing over here this 
is the about section of our website so we will write here h2 and about us and let's write a paragraph here as well we'll write here welcome to a youtube channel fine so we are done with it let's save this and let's open it with live server one and you can see it's working totally fine this is let's say the about a section of a website now what we'll do is we'll move back to our original file so we have this original file over here and we'll create a link over here fine basically what we are doing is we are linking these two html files fine now in here what we'll do is we'll create another link which will redirect us to that about us page so for that we have to write here a href and we have to close the anchor tag fine so in here we have to write the file name so we'll write here about.html and we'll write here about us fine save the program now and you can see we have the word about us present over here click on it and it will take us to the about us section of our website or to the about us page of our website you can see it over here now the reference to adding a local page is the same as attaching an image to a web page we can provide the path of that particular page inside the href attribute moving ahead let's discuss the target attribute in anchor tag whenever we click on a link it opens a web page in the same window by replacing the current web page this happens by default in html fine we can change this to either within the same window or in a new window the target attribute can have four different values the four values can be self blank parent and top so self is used to open the related document within the same window for example if we use this particular attribute over here inside this anchor tag we'll write it target then we'll write here underscore self fine save this program and we'll refresh this page once again one thing to keep in mind is we have to write the value like this only with the underscore present before the value fine now save the program and now if we click on the link over here the about us link the new document will be opened in the same window only this is the default value as well in any web page so if we want to change the document to open in a new window we have to write here instead of self so let's do it for this link now what we'll do is we'll write target over here target will be set to blank with an underscore save the program move back to the web page and click on google over here you can see this link is opening in a new window now fine similarly we have the top and parent values as well the parent value opens the document in the parent frame and the top will open it in full body of the window we'll discuss them later when we go through html frames in the upcoming videos one more thing we can do with links is to change the color of a link for that we have three different attributes a link v link and link a link refers to an active link v link on the other hand refers to a visited link and link refers to the color of the normal link we can mention these three attributes inside the body tag only if we want to make similar changes to all the links present on the website if we want to do it for one single link what we have to do is we have to mention these three attributes inside the anchor tag of that particular link only fine the syntax goes like this for now we'll mention them inside the body tag so we'll write here link link is going to be yellow in color then we have a link so a link is going to be let's say brown and then we have v link fine so v link is going to be let's say green fine save the program and you can see google and about us are now green in color because they are already visited links so what we'll do is we'll add another link over here we'll write a href so let's use any html file from here so let's use the meta.html one so we'll write here meta.html target will set to let's say blank fine we are going to open it in a new window so let's say we are writing over here meta save the program 
and you can see meta over here which is also in green color because these all these three links are visited click on it and you can see the color changing to brown fine because it states that these links are active as well fine now let's talk about the default color of an html link as well so an unvisited link in html is underlined and blue in color a visited link is underlined and purple in color that's why this particular link at the start was in purple color an active link is underlined and red in color so this is the task for you guys you have to use these attributes to change the color of a link present on a web page so i hope you guys must have got an idea by now about the anchor tag in html try doing it by yourself and let us know what you learned that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through image links in html if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you